फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज सेल सेल इज द स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स और इन अदर वर्ड्स द बेजिक लिविंग यूनिट ऑफ द बॉडी इज द सेल लेवल्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लेवल्स स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द केमिकल लेवल सेल्युलर लेवल टिश्यू लेवल ऑर्गन लेवल सिस्टम लेवल एंड ऑर्गेनिजमल लेवल सो ऑल दीज आर द लेवल्स ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द ह्यूमन फिजियोलॉजी वॉट डज अ सेल कंटेन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द सेल वॉटर अराउंड सेवेंटी टू एटी फाइव परसेंटेज आयंस पोटेशियम फॉस्फरस मैग्नेशियम एक्सेट्रा लिपिड्स फॉस्फोलिपिड्स एंड कोलेस्टेरोल प्रोटीन्स स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल प्रोटीन्स आर देयर इन द कार्बोहाइड्रेट so the cell contains all these things what are the cell organelles the most important viva question so first of all we begins with the nucleus which is located over here next one cell membrane so here whatever the structure which covers the cell it is known as cell membrane the cytoplasm this is the cytoplasm nucleolus it is present inside the nucleus the membrane of the nucleus is known as nuclear membrane the chromatin material which is present in the nucleus so here the chromatin material are present these are the mitochondria this is the rough endoplasmic reticulum and that is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum here if you are saying that over the rough endoplasmic reticulum there are ribosomes the ribosomes when present on the endoplasmic reticulum it is known as rough endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum doesn't have ribosomes over it so it is known as smooth endoplasmic reticulum this is the golgi apparatus these are the secretory vesicles which is released from this golgi apparatus this is the centriole these are the microtubules which maintain the shape of the cell this is the lysosomes which contains various type of digestive enzymes so all these are the cell organelles so here we begins with the cell organelles so first of all the golgi apparatus here the carbohydrate synthesis and packaging occurs so this is the function of the golgi apparatus carbohydrate synthesis and uh, packaging so that the pouches they are form inside this golgi apparatus second one the centrioles uh, which uh, helps in the cell division next one smooth endoplasmic reticulum uh, here the lipid and steroid synthesis takes place uh, this is the lysosomes which contains lysosomal enzymes uh, these are the digestive enzymes this is the mitochondria which is also known as the powerhouse of the cell and uh, it helps in the atp formation and dna it also having the dna which is different or mainly the similar or different from that of the dna which is present in the nucleus so this is the rough endoplasmic reticulum and it mainly helps in the protein synthesis so here is the nucleolus which is a uh, takes part during the cell division so all these are the cell organelles and their functions so how the cell is covered by the cell membrane that is uh, it uh, it was discovered by the singer and nicolson in 1972 and uh, the model which is widely accepted worldwide is the fluid mosaic model of the singer and nicolson 1972 the cell membrane having the lipid bilayer in the photograph you are seeing the structure of the cell membrane this part is the towards the ecf this part is the towards the icf 
so ecf is the extra cellular fluid the fluid which is present outside of the cell and towards the icf means intracellular fluid the content of the fluid which is present inside the cell so this part is on the inner side of the cell and this part is on the outer side of the cell so this is the lipid bilayer in the lipid bilayer in between the substances there is a cholesterol is present whatever you are seeing this uh, roundish structure which is blue in color is the polar hydrophilic end and these are the non-polar hydrophobic end of the phospholipids so these are the phospholipid structure this bluish structure which you are seeing is the polar hydrophilic part of the phospholipid and these, uh, these are the non-polar hydrophobic part of the phospholipids. These are the integral transmembrane proteins which penetrate throughout the cell. There some part lies outside of the cell, there some part passing through the cell membrane and there some part lies inside the cell. So these are the integral transmembrane proteins. These are the peripheral proteins which are present only on the outer surface of the cell membrane. These are the glycoproteins. Uh, glycoproteins are just like a carbohydrate moiety when attached to this protein structure. So these are the glycolipids. When the carbohydrate moiety attached to this lipid structure it is known as glycolipids. So this is all about the structure of the cell membrane. The most important thing is it is a lipid bilayer structure. What are the components of the cell membrane? First of all lipid bilayer which is 7 to 10 nanometer in size. It is permeable to fat soluble substances but impermeable to water soluble substances. Proteins there are two types of proteins integral or transmembrane proteins this forms the channels carriers receptors enzymes cytoskeleton cell identity markers as well as different type of antigens and the peripheral proteins which includes the receptor proteins or enzymes carbohydrates these are the glycolipids or glycoproteins and the next one is the glycocalyx which gives negatively charged surface attaches cell to each other and act as a receptor for example insulin so these all are the components of the cell membrane why it is covered functions of cell membrane it forms a lipid barrier it is selectively permeable some ions may pass easily throughout the cell membrane but some ions find it difficult to pass through the cell membrane. Attachment gap and tight junction via which the one cell communicate with the other cell. Development of resting membrane potential and action potential in the excitable cells. Molecular transport. Receptors for hormones, drugs etc contains major histocompatibility complex for example blood group antigens roads and cones of eyes these are the photopigment in the disc maintain size and shape of the cell so all these are the functions of the cell membrane all right how do they attach to each other intracellular attachments or junctions there are three types of junctions are present first one is the tight junction second one is the gap junction and the third one is the desmosomes the tight junctions which are present in the cells of kidney and intestine the gap junction which are present in the cells of the heart and the desmosomes are present in the cells of the skin how do they communicate intracellular communications the cell releases certain type of chemical substances in the extracellular environment. When these chemical substances again having the effect over the same cell from which it releases, it is known as autocrine. 
and whenever this chemical substance is having the effect over the different neighbor cells then it is known as paracrine second one is the endocrine when a cell releases certain chemicals or substances directly into the blood vessel and via the blood it is transported to different target organs so this is the endocrinal function how do they die naturally or apoptosis which is known as programmed cell death apoptosis is a genetically controlled it is also known as cell suicide necrosis is the cell murder apoptosis normally seen in neurons duct regression menstruation and in, in the intestine abnormally seen in autoimmunity and cancer cells mechanism due to activation of caspases leads to dna fragmentation cytoplasmic or chromatin condensation and uh, membrane blap formation so these three are the mechanisms by which the apoptosis or the cell suicide occurs so first one is the dna fragmentation second one is the cytoplasmic or chromatin condensation and the third one is the membrane blap formation so here the apoptosis is the programmed cell death all right what happen if multiply abnormally this condition is known as malignancy or cancer disease characterized by uncontrolled cell growth oncogens these are the cancer causing genes inactivation of anti oncogens which normally suppress oncogens lead to cancer causes of mutation or abnormal activation of genes this may be due to ionizing radiation chemicals physical irritants hereditary and why death it competes with the normal tissue for the nutrition so that is the most important thing that's how what happen this abnormally cancer cells when the multiply inside our normal human body how do they take substances in and out there are two ways uh, one way in which the substance they are taking inside the cell that is endocytosis and uh, another way substances taking outside of the cell or removing the substances it is known as exocytosis so substances is transported inside the cell which is known as this uh, endocytosis so first of all this is the cell membrane it is a uh, first stage passing through the invagination second formation of pouch look over here you are seeing this a uh, pouch like structure and formation of the vesicle when this pouch detach from over here then there is a formation of vesicles occurs so that is the endocytosis now exocytosis is the substance is transported outside the cell so here first of all that is the vesicle comes near to this cell membrane joining of vesicle with plasma membrane so this vesicle joins with this plasma membrane plasma membrane is the another name of the cell membrane secretion of cellular products so once this both the this membrane of the vesicle as well as this cell membrane fuses with each other the contents of the vesicle become released outside of the cell so there is a secretion of the cellular products so that is how they take substances in and out how they take larger particles this is known as pinocytosis or cell drinking it is a clathrin mediated process and uh, there is also help of the actin and myosin filament in this uh, cell drinking process or pinocytosis so this is how the clathrin mediated uh, pinocytosis process takes place in the cell how do they digest unwanted material this is known as phagocytosis or cell eating and i already explain in detail about the phases of different phagocytosis 
and uh, steps of the phagocytosis in the blood system please go through it how do the cell movement occurs that is due to the amoeboid movements ciliary movements in the respiratory passages and in the fallopian tubes there are the presence of cilia and uh, their movement is known as ciliary movements who destroy an unwanted material and these are the lysosomes and peroxisomes lysosomes which is uh, formed by golgi apparatus it contains 40 acid hydrolases so here these are the number of around 40 acid hydrolases are present in the lysosomes these are the bactericidal the word bactericidal simply means they are going to kill the bacteria and it helps in the regression and autolysis peroxisomes which is formed by the smooth endoplasmic reticulum it contains oxidases here the lysosome contains acid hydrolases but it uh, peroxisomes contains uh, oxidases which are more than 14 number useful in detoxification of alcohol in the liver so this is the function of peroxisomes uh, it is useful in the detoxification of alcohol in the liver so the summary cell is made up of water electrolytes lipids proteins and carbohydrates Cell membrane is a lipid bilayer fluid in nature and so many functions. It contains phospholipids, cholesterol, proteins and carbohydrates. Take substances in intracellular fluid by endocytosis and outside by exocytosis. Large molecules and bacteria are engulfed by the process of pinocytosis and phagocytosis. Apoptosis is a programmed cell death and necrosis is a diseased cell death. Apoptosis is the cell suicide and necrosis is the cell murder. Mutation of genes may cause cancer. A rough stone handles too much pain to become a diamond and the diamond the immortal soul. So always try to be a diamond. Diamond passing through different type of processes via which the shining of the diamond or glittering of the diamond become increases and once it, it becomes a diamond it always will be. So always try to be a diamond and the diamond is the immortal soul.